To all our liberators, we owe eternal recognition, and in particular, Mr. Jer Charles Norman Shea, who is here with us today. Our streets are full of soldier boys who have come home to stay. For they say the war is over now, and this is a better day. To the present, which reminds us that peace and freedom must be defended again and again. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, members of the Association of Picoville sous Sauvignon, veterans, visitors, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored to speak with you here at the C-47 Memorial Garden. The C-47 was not just an air power workhorse. It was a symbol of hope and determination for the soldiers who are about to embark on one of the most important missions in our history. Veteran from New York, Private First Class Robert Hamm. Heavens here are endless. My soul's now free to roam. There is no need to cry, my friends. His paratroopers found his home. Airborne all the way. Uh, we trained for Normandy, and we knew that it would, it would be very difficult. So, uh, of course, uh, I landed with the uh, 16th Infantry Regiment. I landed on the 6th of June at 6.30 in the morning on Omaha Beach. Uh, we lost many men. Uh, we were, once the uh, invasion was finished the next day, we were no longer a combat unit because we had lost too many men. My job was to treat the wounded and uh, that was all I did. I did nothing else but do that and uh, until uh, I was able to leave the beach, I lost uh, track of my unit. I was with F Company of the 16th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. One thing I would like everybody to know is uh, that uh, they should never forget the men that sacrificed their lives on D-Day. This is the most important thing for me. Yes.